And this is a question that the spiritual seeker often asks, which is, what will I be like after I lose I? How do I live without an I? Because they can't imagine. They don't know what they're giving up. They don't know what is on the other side. How do you go through the tunnel and understand what is on the other side? What motivates you to go through that tunnel? Because on the other end of the journey is a total loss of I. And you say, but I need I. I live with me. Me, myself and I are all of our best friends. So what does it look like? What does life look like? Guruji has said that the I is simply transformed to you. The I is no longer I am hungry. The I is no longer I am feeling tired. The I is irrelevant. Everything about the body is now the body of the divine. You no longer say, I am hungry. Or more accurately, you know that when you say, I am hungry, the I am is just a vehicle to make everybody else understand what you're talking about. You have no I am left. This is no longer me. There is no me here. And because you've given up me, me is no longer there. So what you're left with is a knowledge constantly that this is nothing to do with me. There is no me here. The body is still here. The families that you are with are still there. This is a delusion that people have, is that when we talk about giving up attachments, we don't mean giving away. You are always going to be in this body. You're always going to live in your life. The life is still the same. You still go to work. You still have the same family members. You still have the same commitments in life. All you've given up is your association that there is a me here that's doing all of it. That's the only thing. The me has been given up. So what is left is this is the oneness manifested in this form. And the oneness has created this body with this family and these commitments. And this body has to just carry out those things. This is a game. You now realize that you are a character in a play. Either you can run away from the play, but what would be the point? Where are you going to run away to? Then you just become a character who's run away. So Guru says, don't run away from anything. What is the point of you running to the forest and saying, my family are a distraction to my meditation? No, you don't have to run away from anything because you haven't run away from yourself. The character just is living somewhere else, doing something else, living in an ashram, wearing holy clothes. But Guru Nanak rejects that way of thinking. says, why don't you be your character, be yourself in this role? Today we talked about Krishna. In the Mahabharata, the big debate that Krishna is trying to resolve for Arjun is Arjun's conflict, how can I fight this battle? So Arjun is the warrior, the head of one side of the battle, and he is about to engage in battle with the enemy, but the enemy consists of all of his other family members, including his own teacher. And he says to Krishna, who is his charioteer, how am I supposed to fight all these people? I don't understand. Krishna's response is, you have to understand your role. Your role is to be on this side of the field, and their role is to be on that, that side of the battlefield. You give up the notion that you have to decide anything. The decision's already been made for you. You're standing on this side of the battlefield. Your role is to simply play out what your character is meant to do. Look at Guru Gobind Singh Ji. He talks about his autobiography as a Bachitar Natak, a beautiful play. He understands that this is a play, this isn't his, his story. He doesn't call it my life. In fact, he starts by saying, I'm going to speak my story. I'm going to speak to you about my whole story. 
It is a story. It is a play. This is a drama. This whole world is a play and you are simply a character within that play, but you are not the one playing that role. The Divine is playing that role. The Divine is playing you. It's playing all of your friends. It's playing all of your family. It's playing all of your enemies. It's playing your food. It's playing your day. It's playing your night. It's playing your circumstances. This is hukam. This is what it means to surrender to hukam. That you understand that you no longer are part of the system. There is no you in the system. It is just that wondrous play of which you are a character, not the actor. The actor is that one actor that plays all the parts. You are simply a character that he decides when you're going to be born, what you're going to do, and he decides when the character is no longer needed and he writes the character out of the story. The story continues, the actor continues. Simply your role ceases to exist.